Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and I am back with a quick tip on cutting the pattern paper for the November 2020 sheet load of cards. I've had a few viewer questions so I hope this is going to help you out. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel and you think you're going to be interested in downloading the November 2020 sheet load of cards, make sure to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Like I mentioned in the intro, I'm here with a little cutting help for the November 2020 sheet load of cards. Normally when I create a sheet load of cards, I like to stick to quarter inch increments when I'm doing my measurements. Unfortunately this month, I did have to throw in some 1 8 inch increments to make sure that the border around those pattern papers was even. I've had a few emails and a few comments that people are a little bit confused about those measurements. So I thought I would stop by and just quickly show you how to cut these pieces. The pieces in question would be pattern paper A and pattern paper C. This one you cut to 1.125 inches wide, which is the same as 1 and an eighth. The bottom pattern paper is cut to 1.375 inches tall, which is the same as 1 and 3 eighths inches. To keep everything uniform on my printable, I did stick to decimals instead of fractions for my measurements, just because that's how it is every other month. So sorry for any confusion. I hope that if you didn't figure it out, you were one of those people who reached out. And if you haven't reached out yet and you had questions, this is the perfect video for you. Let's cut some paper. Since this is a great sheet load to use up scraps, if you don't have 6x6 paper, I just pulled out some scraps that I had close to me here on my desk. These were actually some papers that a subscriber sent to me that I mentioned that I really liked. The first piece that I'll show you how to cut will be pattern paper A. This piece is 1.125 or 1 and 8 inch wide by 2 and 3 quarters inches tall. For my 1 and an 8 mark, you have the one inch mark and then you have the one and a quarter inch mark. One and an eighth is just going to be that mark that's halfway between those two. So I'm going to line up my piece of pattern paper with that mark. And because there's not really room for my fingers to hold it, I'm going to bring in just a scrap of scotch blue removable tape that I keep here to the side and tack that down. Once that's done, then I can rotate that and cut it to three and a quarter inches tall. And you'll see then, this is the same size as PPA on the sketch. For PPC or the bottom piece, this is going to be three inches wide. And then it is one and three eighths or 1.375 inches wide. So for this one, I'm going to place it halfway between the quarter and the half inch mark on the one inch spot. And then you have pattern paper piece C. I hope this little tip was handy for you. As always, if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section or reach out via email. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.